<laughs> okay, hi. Uh, today we got about 30 over slides uh, to hopefully uh, I, we have enough time. So to start off, uh, I can can I start off with uh, singing? Zuting. Hi, morning, Zuting. Hello, good morning. Hi, uh, yeah, shut up, Chia. I just woke up. Uh, no, maybe I'm very sleepy, okay. I haven't washed my face. You see all my dirty stuff here and here. I will make up. I just shut up, Uncle Raymond. <laughs> okay, Singy, are you ready to read? Who is not here? Huh? <coughs> <coughs> Only April. All right, let's go, Singy. If I have 80 days to travel the world, I will go Paris. That is. That is in France, where the Eiffel Tower is located. The world is also in Paris and have many high value paintings that cannot be found in Singapore. Secondly, I will also I would also like to go to Beijing in China, and that is where the Great Wall War of China is located. I have not been there before and heard from friends and relatives said that it is very beautiful and famous tourist attraction. Thirdly, I would also like to go to New Zealand. As hold is. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I got a very urgent message. Uh. Uh, hold on, uh, sorry. Uh. Uh, how run? I can't kick you out. If I were to kick you out, the, the message says that if I remove you from this uh, Zoom chat, it says uh, how run will not be able to rejoin the meeting. Okay, so maybe either that you're using a handphone or what, uh, how run, you just switch off and restart the game, okay? But it's okay, uh, if you cannot turn on the camera, it's okay, don't worry, okay? All right, so sorry. Okay, let me uh emphasize uh, on this uh see. Wow, you got so many places to go. Um Paris and having many high value paintings that cannot be found in Singapore. Very good. I like the first part. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, seeing it. Hello, sing it. I can't see your face. Uh. Bring down a uh, bit, uh, come on. Bring down a bit, bring down a bit. Wait, uh, need to reload. What wait? Can we start the zoom? Very sorry, because the one recording, not very, no, no, uh, okay, okay. Uh, how run just do your best. <coughs> uh, Sing Jun, it's okay if you want, you can turn on your camera. Hi, Han Ye, I received your things. Those are um, comprehension passage, the one a bit blur is okay, like, don't worry. Oh, okay, what you need to do is that you have to hold on to your laptop, hold the button for five seconds. Hold it on for five seconds, then you, you will shut down and then you will restart again. Okay. Press the start start uh start at off button. That's how I got some problem with the laptop. Huh? Uh Eiffel Tower is located in Paris, France. Uh sing it. Hey, you're reading so much show face like, like Jaden, like that. Come, come. Don't be shy. Even your parents, your sister, brother are behind. I don't care. Okay, just show me your face. I don't care. I'm just only interested in you. That's like that day, somebody told me uh, Hanye's father was behind. I didn't notice. Uh. I don't care who is behind you. I don't care. I only care that you face me. Okay, they want to listen. They want to comment. I don't care. Okay, sing it. If you give me money, uh, okay, to visit Eiffel Tower, uh, that would be a very last thing I want to do. Okay. A few places that I will not visit is one of them is France. Uh. Okay, I won't want to visit France if I got the chance, then no choice. If I need to work there for whatever reason, uh, then I, I got problem, okay? Because uh, the France cultures are singing. Next two years in set three, you're singing. You're an express student, right? So you'll be studying uh, social study. And one of the topic is France, uh, assimilations, uh, okay? And then you tell me, after studying the French uh, cultures, you'll see... Uh, to talk to Dr. Jaden from Britain, uh, they will, he will tell you that the British and the friends are not actually good terms uh, because they'll be fighting and fighting and fighting. That's why I got the set one, remember? Social study, Korea. I mean, history. Remember? The British, English, uh, uh, Sir Stanford, Raffles and William Farquhar. Everyone like me to pronounce the William Farquhar. I don't know why. I pretty the guys who come to Singapore in time machine. You think, oh, my name is being disturbed. Not nice, uh, please don't. Uh. I always tell myself when I was teaching history, uh, 
please do not abuse people's surname, okay? I just like my my one of my teachers is called Mr. Bichner. Okay, please uh, don't laugh to think yes. Uh, I think it's a respect to my teachers. Just like people disturb my surname, I cannot take it. So Singy, I, I want to pause here a bit is that I, I like the, the way you put it, uh, Beijing and Paris. No, when I was reading this, uh, sorry, uh, don't get me wrong, uh, Singy. The first part when you read Paris, I already feel, felt very boring. Really. Not because of your handwriting, huh? because of the country you choose. Okay, <laughs> It's like, oh my God, why you start off with Paris? Uh? Why don't you put China first? Or other country, why you put this Paris? But later you all talk about Venezuela. Ooh, cool, man. I like that. I think you love geography a lot. Okay. So Great Wall of China is my one of my favorite. 不到长城不是好汉, 对吗,韩也? Ah,咱们一起去长城吧. 然后做那个time machine you see, uh, your mathematic wrong with you. Then later, uh, we will, we will export Jaden. Then Jaden will talk to you. Uncle Raymond. Yes, how right? Hey, you, you can talk with me. Yeah, sorry. You go for Tinsu Wang, you go back to ancient China, why you come here? I go back to ancient China is to tell Tinsu Wang he did a great job, honestly. Oh, is talking about every single book? book I can't hear you, like, you, you talk like a robot. Like, you take it, you add it, you copy it, you take it. I can't hear you. Correct, or to see. Correct, or let on, let on. Why you turn off your camera? Okay, sorry to interrupt you, but I, I just want to make a comparison. And please, you can see France got a lot of things, ah. But wait till you go to Sectary and you study your this uh social study, ah, ah, see. Then you tell me whether you like France or not. Okay, All right. Seriously, uh, my 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 son went to France before my friends, relative, ex colleagues. Um, uh, they know how to speak English, and yet they refuse to speak English. Okay, and a lot of crimes there, a lot of terrorists there. Uh, it's a nice place, France. Yes, I agree. Paris is one of the very strong deep history, but uh, no. Okay, thank you. Just I just worry that I forget to say this. Okay, thirdly, can you start with thirdly again? Uh, my dear. Thirdly, I would also like to go to Venezuela. As no, it's pronounced as Venezuela. Venezuela, as it is where the biggest waterfall is located. When I first saw the waterfall online, now I was shocked to see that there is such a big waterfall in the world. I really want to visit that great waterfall one day. Apart from all these countries, I would also like to go. Like to go. Wait. Lastly, I, I would like. I to would also like to go. Go where? Oh, apart from all these country, I would also like to go. I thought like to go Tongo, an Africa country. They don't have uh, Do you know there's this Victoria Fall? Uh, sing it. Victoria Fall is in Africa. I can't remember. Is it Kenya or Nigeria or, or which part of Africa? It's one. Hey, hi, Haran. I can see your face. Well done. Love you. So sing it. Uh, the, the truth is that the Nigeria Fall. Uh, hey, no, no, sorry. No, Nigeria. Victoria Four is much better than the Venezuela Four. Okay, I do. Uh, I taught geography before. Thing, uh, I agree. That's beautiful. Uh, in fact, some of the like the juristic part. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the juristic part of some movie was from there. But if you want to talk about one of the best waterfall, uh, is in one China. They got this place called Guiling. Ah, like Guiling. Ah, they got this waterfall that is seven waterfall coming together at one time. If you watch the like a COT, uh, si Wukong, the COT, uh, the very old versions, uh, you'll know why, man. <coughs> I'm not saying Venezuela waterfall is not nice, uh, but it's a good one that you bring up and share with your classmate. Lastly, lastly, I would like to go to Korea the, mo the most, as I like to eat Korean food a lot, especially their kimchi. Not for me, huh? Sorry, uh, Uncle Raymond is not as hot as you, uh, okay? Uh, you can see he's a hot guy, but Uncle Rima is a cool guy. And first yeah, of all, kimchi is so good. No, no, I cannot. I think already I go go and uh, go toilet with him, confirm. I, I tried it before asking him a few times already. I tried it before already. I tried it. Okay. Number one, uh, I love Korea in a way because uh, one of the, the players is playing in Dalton Hotspur. Okay. Uh, that's one thing. Hi, April. Okay. Yeah. But honestly, hi, April. 
honestly, uh, first Korean, uh, I only know three words. Kamsa, Amida, Alia, Seyo, We. That's why. Uh, that's all. These three words. Other than that, uh, the pronunciation is different compared with the Japanese. If you all learn Japanese, Arigato, uh, Konichiwa, Sayonara, you know, Anatawa, Watashiwa. Very easy because it's got this um, vowel sound. Korean, I don't know, very hard to pronounce. Just like Germans. Uh. Like when you say thank you, it's called Danke. Huh? Danke? Okay. Uncle, I know. Uh, Danke. You know, seriously, thank you in German is Danke. That's all I know. So, uh, Korea is a nice place, but uh, I don't know. You know, uh, Tingy, I got a student that uh, told me, uh, I will not visit Seoul, Korea. I said, why? I asked him. You know what he said? If I walk on the street, I will see a lot of plastic people on their face. Get a joke, Han Ye. Get a joke, Jaden. Get a joke, Singy. So, is it, is it like the people with plastic surgery? Correcto. Correcto. Then I just asked, what do you mean? I'm uh, sorry, Uncle Raymond, Uncle Raymond, correction. It's not the plastic on the face. What do you mean? It's plastic from the head to toe. Oh, you mean the boobs also? Yes. I, I, I applaud you, really? You mean the teeth and face and eye? Yes. True, huh? Okay, but um, Korean people are nice and hardworking people. So thanks to you, Singh, you see, we're sharing the cultures of different countries. Um, Venezuela is actually in the South America, one of the biggest countries in the, one of some considered one of the biggest. Carry on, please. The food in Korea is way more different than in Singapore. There is a lot of delicious and tasty food, such as, uh, and many more. Such as bin bin jok and bulgogi, and some yokpots, and many more. You see, I can read because he used English word. If you use Korean, I don't know. Bip pop, correct. Bip bip pop, right. And bulgogi, and some young folks, and many more. At the same time, at the thoughts. At the thought of this mouth watering food, I will start drooling. I oh. love your this sentence, bro. Seriously. Can you write like this in your school? Are you allowed to write this type of sentence in your essay? Yeah. Well done. Continue. Be creative. All in all, these are the five countries I would like to choose to go. Okay. My five countries uh, will be definitely China is one of them. Confirm job stand and sign. I still love to go Guiding and Jiu Zai Go. I like mountains and river. Hua Suo Chong Chen. Hua Zi Jing. You know, Guiding, uh, every mountain is like you you see Uncle Rimmer sitting at one of the mountains, Jaden. Then Jaden will pass on to the street. I finally found you. Let's go together. Jaden, then you know what? Uh, how, how you know what? I'm going to try to check it. No, no. You know what? Tell Jaden. Jaden, damn it. Sifu, what is it? No Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> we are playing online game. Shit, no Wi-Fi. <laughs> then Li Chen will say, oh. never mind. I got a new router for you. Then we found a new router. You know what? Not how right? No PowerPoint. <laughs> Uncle Raymond. We have Uncle. to play the, the normal chess. Okay, come. Uncle Raymond. Yeah. If I, I was lying among was about how I I'll just turn around. I want to see. I don't I want to see. Uh, to see. Is he speaking English? I can't hear what he's saying. Agree now, Zuting. Really, yeah? Huh? Honey, can you hear what he's saying? No, huh? I think your mic got a problem, my dear. Karan, what do you want to say? Oh, you type, right? You type, you type, right? Okay. Because your, your mic a bit, uh, I, will I, won't, I won't bother to climb the mountain. Yeah, you take a helicopter, like, I know, I know. Uh, with your size like that, to climb a mountain, a bit hard, like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Hanye can climb uh, for you and me to climb a mountain. That's it. Uh, Li Chen also can climb. Uh. Okay. The five countries I like to visit is China, Japan. Um, what another one is Canada. I like to see the those uh, mountainous areas. And the fourth countries um will be definitely the the what do you call this um uh Italy, Venice. Okay, and that's where as a Catholic I will need to visit the uh, Vatican. Where's the Pope's Day? That's Italy, Venice. Uh, the whole of Italy, if possible. Uh, last one, I haven't decided. Uh, 
Of course, not Sentosa, of course. Okay. But thank you, Sing Sing. Thank you for your this essay. So now I'm going to go back to the actual lesson because we got a lot of things to do. I'm so sorry. Okay. Thanks, you need to turn on your camera. Uh at the end of the day, uh, there's a very, very, very important announcement. Okay, seriously, very super important announcement. So I hope you all can stay tuned. Okay, so let, let me go through the lesson today. Uh. Really very important announcement. You mean Uncle Women, you're dying soon? How many days? Is your day number? Yeah, because I'm number, so I got to go for 18 days. Don't cry, Sing. So, uh, don't cry, Sujin. <laughs> Uncle Women. <laughs> okay. So I'm um, yet to see your essay here. Hopefully, I will still put there for this whole month, waiting for you to complete this, okay? And that's the homework. Thank yous to all of you and Han Yin as well uh, as uh, uh, Jun Yi and uh, Le Tong and who else? Uh, and Jaden. Jaden, I received it. Yours already. Thank you. I should put there, Jaden. Now, the reason, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, by showing case your homework here in the Zoom, uh, is to tell your parents that you did some homework, right? And I told you before, I don't want at the end of the day when the student result is no good and then parents start to dig out, how come my son, my daughter never do homework? Okay, I, I don't like to entertain all these type of things, uh, please. Uh. If any parents would come and tell me my son, my daughter is not improving because not handing homework, please don't come to my lesson anymore. Okay, you all should know better. Okay, I don't like to force students doing homework. I like students like doing quality homework, like singing like that. Singing, how long do you prepare to do this homework? 10 plus minutes. Huh? Around 10 minutes. No, no. How long it takes to plan to do this 10, 10 minutes? Written, uh, right? You, you, you did you do research on a full scan, on, a, on the internet or something like that? I got research. Uh. That means it's more than 10 minutes already, no? Yeah, so, but I write, when I write, it's 10 minutes. Uh. No, when you wrote, it's 10 minutes, but when you do everything, the preparations, everything, is more than 10 minutes, right? Agree? Yeah. So you use internet, right? Yeah. Definitely. You see, my time, we don't have internet. We have to go to the library to look for resources. We take a bus, we walk there, yeah. we get queued up. If we can't find the books, then we have to got problems. So it's all in all. I spend like two days to get that done. Yeah, you see? So I need a quality homework. Okay, right. So when you see when I when Sing is reading this uh, his homework, you can see that he put even though it's 10 minutes, I believe behind the preparation is definitely more than 10 minutes. It's just like when you want to cook a very delicious meal for your grandparents, you need to go to the market to buy the food, you travel, then you plan what kind of mom, uh, grandma and grandpa like, what kind of food they eat because they are high cholesterol or diabetes or whatever, not diabetes, high cholesterol level or or too much, too sweet, all these things will cause uh, diabetes. So you plan. And then when you cook, uh, it might take five minutes to cook the food, but it takes an hour to plan. That's why I'm saying here. Here's a better definition of failure and success. The reason why just I'm asking is redefine. Redefine what you're supposed to do as this, okay? <clears throat> uh, how run? Are you able to read? If not, it's okay. I'm going to not try. Go. So I start from failure is defined as an yes, act. Yes, yeah. Your voice is good. Good. Failure is defined as an act, as an absence or lack of success. That, this is a pretty general purpose definition. It allows us to personally know whether or not we fail. The main problem here. Is that both of us are good at defining success. This could leave us feeling like failure when in fact by total actually the opposite. We're working in a level like or not we get the echo we put into our lives. It's time to redefine that. Yeah, you got problem like the, the mic and the speaker and your voice and the Wi-Fi. Are you at home, Noah? Or where are you? Uh? I'm outside. Oh, okay, okay. So failure is defined as an absence of lack of success, and it's true that if you fail, how are you going to redefine that the, these failures will turn out into success? Well, so what's the definitions of success and failures? May I have Li Chen? What is definition of success and failure? Do you 
have currently. Some of us won't define either for ourselves. Instead, we'll let the shape of them be, decide, be decided by the people and world around us. We'll be swayed, swayed by whoever influences us most, whether that is our boss, best friend, or a social, a social media star, we'll never meet. This means that whenever we don't match up to their standards, we failing, and we when we do, we are succeeding. Others may have an impo impossibility, impossibly narrow, and as a result, in a limiting definition of success. Living with that definition leaves them most certainly this destiny to fail. Destiny to fail. It's a hard way to live, and then there's a, there is a group of people who never define success and failure, meaning they do not know when they are doing either. That will make everything feels like an aimless slog. So what it means that, uh, thanks, uh, listen, what it means that you, you really need to improve, uh, especially now there, there will be no more reading oral, but doing presentations. Uh. So if your present, presentations like that a bit, a bit, uh, you, you're not going to score well for, for that. So what it says here, this paragraph, that if you do not take success or failure seriously, and you just like take a pinch of salt and you let people to decide how you run your success and failures, or is is how you see it when people say Li Chen, you are you, you are not good, or some some will say Li Chen, you are did well. So how are you going to really define? Is it based on their narrow mindedness or their result by looking of your one failures? They are saying that you are the failure of the rest of your life, or is it by looking at your one success? They tell you, oh well done, Li Chen, you will be successful in your life. So that is what it meant. You need to go through a series redefine. Whether this failure, that one failure doesn't mean you consider failure for the rest of your life, okay? Uh, next, may I have, uh, Juni, can you read? Are you still eating? If not, I get someone. Juni, are you able to read this? Thank you, sir. There is no need to categorize everything as a success or a failure. But when it is inappropriate, there is no right or wrong to define these states. It's just that some definitions do more harm than good. So having said that, what definition could offer us the most benefit? It's possible that basically the states of success and failure on values might just do it. Well done. You see, for what it means that you, you don't categorize success or failures in your own. You Yes, you can do it, but how are you going to define it? How are you going to say that this is the things that I've done, I feel. This is the thing that I've done successful. This is the thing that I've done. Mm, I still cannot think whether it's successful or not because it's not the end product. So that's where the word redefining it. How? So I'm so sorry to say, uh, in four, four and a half more weeks to go, uh, is your final year examinations. And most of you have this problem, the time management. And those of you who came for my exam in June, well done. You already feel the pain and the stress and the time management of one hour and 50 minutes to complete the whole entire paper one exam. Well done. So now you know. It's not easy. So now you have to redefine how you're going to have strategized your paper to coming up, for example, or your listening company, your aura, or even your other subjects. So you have to redefine. So whatever you do is different. But now because of MOE has a different sets of preparations of examination, good luck to you. So you you are like every week test. So last week I went, went to Hfield Secondary School for a event. So I shared with one of my ex colleagues who was working there. He said, yeah. Because now they got this bite size test or exam. In fact, every week got different exam. In fact, I don't know. Do you feel that the students are more stressful? Are more, you know, really too much? Is it instead of one lump exam, test everything? Uh, in university last time was the whole exam. That's what I did. And halfway through, they go by bite size. Okay, of course, to me, whether the full exam or the bite size, to me, as long as it's exam, I love it. So no different for me. Okay, uh, full exam, just full exam. Uh, test by chapter by chapter. Let, let's say for the example, 
in my university, I got 20 chapters. If I finish the first five chapters, that means the second semester, I will not be tested on the five chapters. The first part of the university I did was the whole 20 chapter was being tested at the end of the year. So you got a lot of things to study, right? But in between, they got small tests. So uh, I, I'm not sure this will be your generation of Hanye, okay? And your son generation and your grandchildren's generations. As long as you're in Singapore, this system might stay for a while, for maybe 10 to 20, 30 years. Uh, the previous exam will stay here for about 40 years. So it's a two generation, me and my eldest son. And my daughter as well. So <clears throat> because the education had to change, you see, right, redefine. Honestly, is there, uh, there was this essay by IP. If I chance, I will let you all read. Uh, whether is it good uh, to have exam or not and spend more time on other curriculum? Well, uh, this is a good question. Sir. So success now, uh, Juni, can you read this too, please? Success now, instead of living and working according to our values, Billion noun instead of living and working in a way that isn't aligned with our values. So take note, like, doesn't align, no? it doesn't go align, that's why it's considered failures. So Julie, next time when you start your own family with your wife and children, I believe you have a set of rules in your house, right? Correct. Right? So for example, if your children come into the house, they have to take out the shoe and put the shoe properly in the shoe rack and things like that. But if let's say you've got three children, one of the children, the youngest one especially, he took out the shoe and then any output, and then their first two, uh, the brother and sister was say, and let's say your youngest is a, a, a son. Then the, the two will say, hey, Titi, ya, in so much young fun, fun, then he's not happy. Okay, he feel to put the shoe properly and he feel to follow the rules. So, Judy, do you think your two eldest children who scolded the youngest brother, is it right or wrong? Right, right? Ah. So, you see, it doesn't align with your values really. Then, of course, your wife will tell your younger son, you see, mommy and daddy already told you, when you come in, you have to put your shoe properly. This is part of the rules. You have feel to understand the rules. Okay? Because once you feel to understand the rules, I'm so sorry, yeah, it's all about discipline. Okay? okay? <coughs> Who is not in? Uh? Anye, is it in? Uh? Anye, in. Okay? Where is Le Kong? I'm in. Where is Singh, yeah? Who is not here? 8% right, oh, how, how, how run can, yeah, thanks. How run, you got big, nice face, I can see that. Okay, how would this reframe, okay, let me see, uh, I still got a lot, right? Okay, let's do it quickly, yeah. Uh, may I have, who, uh, Hanye, Hanye not here, Zijing, come. Le Tong, next paragraph will be you, uh. come. Oh, wait, not from where I chose. Uh, how would this reframe make your so-called failure and success look? That job interview, that job interview or promotion you didn't get may, may be seen as a successful process because of the way you work towards it. And authenticity, authenticity and bonus, you you represent yourself with. The stain is not getting the job or promotion is minimized by the fact that you show up for yourself and give it everything you could. The boss praising you because you are working night and day to deliver that piece of work which was too big to begin with. Maybe more of a failure than you think. You fail to push back against your boss for expecting you to deliver the impossible. You're exhausted and we see a family who barely see you. You compromise your value around working with structures and balance for a pro. It is a, it's a high price to pay and the discomfort felt during, felt during miss a light with your value highlight this. Yeah. So this one is like, uh, next time when you go out to work, your boss might give you a big project. And you are one of the most important person in the company, okay? Say you are like, say your marketing directors or uh, next week you got to fly to do a, a one hour presentation to 100 potential customers, okay? Then in two days time, your your elder son is going to celebrate his 12 years old birthday, PSLE. Then you say, oh, you plan already. Then last minute your boss says, Titi, ah, sorry, ah. Uh, tonight, uh, this week, uh, you're going to prepare these materials with your team and get ready. Uh, and this project costs about $10 million. 
okay, for the company, and the bonus is quite a lot. So now, uh, you see, you have to redefine already. You you're going to fail to attend your son's birthday, correct? Uh? <clears throat> or are you going to fail to complete this project and attend your son's birthday? Get it? So I want to bring this in real life, uh, ladies and gentlemen, seriously. Because not just about studies, about success, you pass your exam with flying colors and you fail your exam, things like that. This bring into your real life uh, to think. So will you go for your your full three days by midnight oil to do the project and get it done and fly to say in France or in Italy for a project? Or you will say, sorry, boss, sorry, I promised my son that I'm going to celebrate, celebrate his birthday. You know what I mean? So it's very having dilemma to you way nothing else to think. Like you cannot ask your husband to tie tea ni, hai si de lao, er lao san tai ni. because your elder son are very uh, close to you and he, he wants you to celebrate his birthday. So you feel as a mother or you feel as an employer, employee in the company. So you have to redefine you, so you have to put plan. See? Another way is to what to think. The best, the only way is that to turn on your camera, zoom, and where you're in the office, you you, you say hi, Ertz, Deputy, Mami Puke Pani, Jing Tian Tu Kwan in the Shenji. But I promise you, when I come back from Italy, we go. I, I already got my boss one week leave to bring you to uh, Japan, Disney, Disneyland, while you're having a school holiday. Correct now? See? So this is what it means. You might feel initially, but it doesn't mean at the end, the whole things you feel. It doesn't mean that this test you feel is the end of the day. Why do you think you feel your this exam? Is it you, you did not put enough work? Okay? Le Tong, your turn. Le Tong. Redefining in this way helpful. I've previously written about the importance and benefit of knowing your values. Defining success and failure based on them goes one step further. It makes you aware of how you are determining our full states in your life. Whether we fail or succeed, we're most likely to have a strong and sometimes lasting reaction to these states. Those reactions might affect us physically and emotionally. They may influence how we see ourselves and the world around, around us. They could also sway decisions or choices we go on to make. This means our reactions to success and failure have an impact, small and big, on us and our lives, making the control we have our, over whether we succeed or fail essential. I want you to read this paragraph. I purposely choose you this paragraph. Is there is a reason, a little? Where are you, little? Can I see your face? Bring down camera, little. Please, please, please. I'm serious. The reason I want you to read this, uh, I want you to build your confidence level for the past few months with Uncle Raymond. Okay, initially you come in, you are not like Lertong, you are very shy, you're very quiet. But today, more and more, your boys are getting much better, clearer, and more powerful. Okay, from what I see, I may be wrong, uh, Lertong, if this is open live, uh, I may be wrong, okay, that maybe to your very quiet and shy types, in the past, you might get bullied in school, you get being uh, laughed at, you get whatever it is. I think it's time for you to change and be brave and have a success in your life. Those times that you feel to please your friend or feel to, to impress yourself is over. Move on. What happened yesterday? I think Thursday, right? Children, Jaden, Thursday, they got the GCO Chinese O-level result. <clears throat> right? So I got two China students coming to Singapore. And in fact, one China student uh, who came here and got A1. Well done for her. The other one is a China student who studied in Singapore and in the government school, she got A2. Listen, uh, A2. So she was very confident, April, that she will get A1 because her Chinese is damn good. You know what happened on uh, April that she got A2? Just don't, I told you, don't shake your head, don't IDK. Come. Wow, guess. Did she like cry? Uh, 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 you, you please type your answer. I really can't hear you. I'm so sorry. I keep asking you to repeat. I also feel very embarrassed. Okay, please type your answer. Yeah, all right. I really cannot hear you. If you if you all agree with me, yeah, please knock your head. Uh, April, why do you think she got A2? And she asked me, Uncle Raymond, I feel to get A1. Do you think I should retake my O-level end of this year? I said, yes, please go ahead. So April, why do you think she failed to get A1? 
I ask you because I believe you can give me a very smart answer. Very pressurized. Huh? Don't feel me, huh, April. Don't feel me. Get <laughs> that tissue. <laughs> yes. Like, maybe, like... Um, because getting A1 might put someone in a lot of pressure and in, like, a spotlight where they're not comfortable with, even though they have prepared themselves. And, like, maybe she didn't, like... Like, she didn't feel, like, the type of, like, energy when she was, like, when she, what she studied for was not in her head when she was, like... Hey, Dan, F you, man. I really F you. Fantastic, man, bro. You got the jackpot answer, man. Whatever you say, she told me, when she was doing her exam, she feel, because when she was writing her essay, halfway through, she cannot complete her essay. She feel in a time management. And then later she told me, when I go into the exam hall, whatever I study, I always forgot. I feel stressed. I cannot take it. I don't know why my mind blank. You are absolutely right. So you see, she brought all these failures, daily, daily failures into the real exam. And that's why finally he failed to get A1. You are right, April. She texted me. She texted me last night. I want to end my life. April, you are damn freaking right. I straight away, it was about coming to 11 p.m. I remember last week or someone 11.52 sent me homework or so. <laughs> huh? Right, April? <laughs> but okay, that one is a joke. Like 11 plus you sent me homework is good. Huh? But this one, 11 plus to send me this kind of message is not a joke. Huh? Straight away, I copy the text. I send it to my colleague. I say, this person need counseling. True not, April? Right? This person need immediate actions. Because she feel that she has feel in her life. A2 is considered very good with you. It's about 70 upon 100, right? Junyi, Hanye, Hanye, right? ma? Right, Singyi, correct now. But because I, I, it's like higher Chinese, no? Oh, Li Chen, correct now. Just like you, right? Last time when you read like robot, like that, like the chat GPT broke down already. Why is we defining? But you are well done, uh, Li Chen, you have improved. Uh. See, so reading is very important. So, Le Tong, Jia Yu, you see, if I, this student have this problem, uh, she share with me, express that the concerns. Okay, you guys may have a chance to see her uh, if you are there soon. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Le Tong, for your uh, next one. All the way from Britain. Who else? But Dr. Jaden. <laughs> You've been waiting for long, right? It's like, damn it, stupid Uncle Raymond. When can I start to read my British accent? Well, it's about time, sir. <laughs> well, I don't want to go read my British accent. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't care which accent you read. Uh. I just want to see all of you a smiling face. Uh. Seriously, then the student of Hanye, right? when you got stressed and not, not worth it, uh, please. Okay, I know you want to stress yourself to get good results to please your parents. I really respect you. Thank you so much. 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 But your body is more important. Uh. Come, Dr. Jaden, British. I mean, sorry. Dr. Jaden, Singapore. <laughs> Let's go. Defining success around values gives you this control. It puts you, not your boss or the world, in control of whether you succeed or fail. It allows you to work towards success in an authentic, flexible, and tangible way. Tangible way, correct. Stop tangible here. Stop, stop here. I want to commence and give credit to Le Tong, to Li Chen, and uh, to Xing Yi. And Juni, I have not, cannot comment on you because, number one, you do not give me enough homework to express your thoughts. Huh? So I'm not against you. Huh? Uh, Xing Yi has given me quite enough of homework so I can give you confidence. Huh? Overconfidence? No, no, no. You're not overconfident, Juni. Okay? I cannot understand your, your nature yet. Uh, from your handwriting, I feel that you are quite an impatient person. Okay? You want to get things done fast, which is good. Huh? Not saying no good. Huh? But you make sure you must be creative and calm. 
Okay, so Juni, this is a good comment on you. Okay, so Xingyi, yeah, I know you submit a few homework and then from the train of thoughts, uh, be more think like a freak, Xingyi. And that essay, I put it just now, was well done. Okay, you must be like that. Uh. I don't care what your school do, uh, I don't care. In my class, the more crazy you are, I love it. Uh. Just like Hao Ran and Jaden and Zi Jing and Li Chen also, okay? So carry on. Of course, you may not be able to live and work in a way that aligns to your values all of the time. But when you, can, when you can't, at least you will know where you try. No, sorry. I don't like this word try. Uh. I want to cancel. What do you think you should replace with? Do. Well done, Zi Jing. Yeah, true. I was listening. Okay. No more try. Uh. I don't want to see in your compo. I will try, uh, try, try. I'll make sure I go and uh, bring the paper to your house. I'll make you cry, cry, cry until you dry. Let's go. Uh, this definition may also allow for you to find success in situations where traditionally failure was the only option. The importance of this hard work, effort, and whatever else you contributed won't go unnoticed. Must by the unusual cloud and tarnish failure brings with it. Uh, for the next few weeks, uh, children, you're going to have all this happening. And this is the first time in your whole entire life in a secondary school, you're taking the full exam paper where April now is so happy. Yeah, yeah. I finished my exam. You guys are going to suffer. Yeah, I'm enjoying my holiday. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> right. So, April, I think 先苦后甜,这句话没有错啊。Right.所谓,平时不烧香,临时抱佛脚啊。这句话是做的真的很有道理. So, the next four weeks, Uncle Raymond had to drill you a lot and a lot before. You know when is your exam, children? Your exam will be on the school exam, the full exam paper. Uh. One hour and 15 minutes, you're going to sit at your butt on the chair, okay, and write for one hour and 15 minutes. Is start starting on the third week of September after your 11 days of holiday in September. The first of September is going to be an election day, president election, which is supposed to be Happy Teachers Day. But now the Happy Teachers Day pushed on the 11th of September. Oh my God, September 11, celebrate Teachers Day. And that is Monday. By right, the end level and the NT exam is on the 11th of September. That is on Monday. So you got 11 days to prepare for your next uh, September final year exam paper. And please don't take this 11 day and play games and play game. You need to play. Yes, of course, you need to play. But don't spend half a day and play. Uh. You need to really be from all your subject because after this set one, uh, you're going to move to set two, which, where there's the next year is the even more important. Uh. If your foundation for this year sucks, uh, good luck to you to next year. Because set two is the time where you have to stream to set three. If you choose the wrong subject, good luck to you. Set three is the subject is going to, to determine what kind of career path you're going to go on. Uh. I wonder why is my teacher for some it's supposed to be first of September, but September 11 is the remember the 911 in uh in the, the twin tower. Okay. Thank you, Jaden. Whichever voice you're reading, you're always that good. Thank you so much. May I have honey at your turn? Oh, you're eating bubble gum. Uh. You dare to eat bubble gum in front of me. Oh my goodness. You know this is illegal eating bubble gum in Singapore. Okay, now it's live. Hey, Li Chen, we love it. We love it. Okay, Li Chen. Li Chen. Li Chen. Li Chen. Listen, smile, listen. Why so like like why having a period like that? Can you smile? <laughs> anyway, Han Ye, it's nothing wrong. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. okay. I go eat chewing gum, nothing wrong. <laughs> okay. Hey, Uncle Raymond, huh? police station just right beside my house. And no more at home you eat, but if you eat chewing gum at home and you take your chewing gum and throw out of your window. Then it's illegal, okay? Uh, <laughs> Let's go. The feedback we get from succeeding and failing no matter. And sorry, when you read, 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 you don't read halfway your chewing gum solo inside. Uh. After your chewing gum stuck in your stomach. <laughs> okay, go. Wait, though. 
the feedback we get from succeeding and failing, no matter how much it stinks, is valuable. It allows us to know when we are heading in the right direction and when we need to make adjustments. Redefining success and failure to a values-based definition isn't about minimizing failure and maximizing success. It also isn't about defining everything in terms of these two things. When thinking in these terms, it's influential states in our work and life. No, no. When thinking in these two terms, oh, no. when is thinking helpful. in these terms is helpful. However, the redefinition offers us more flexibility in how we view highly influential states in our work and life. It gives us the opportunity to lower the bar of perfection. Perfection, step away from the influence of the world and the people around us and find success in an important skill, following our values. So next time you are feeling the sinking sting of failure, please ask yourself whether you follow your values. You might just find that looking at things through the lens highlights some success you might have, other, have otherwise missed. I don't know about others, uh, whether they follow this, but I will never worry about Han Yet for not doing that. Uh. The moment when Han Yet last time he came for my classroom exam, uh, he never failed to say to make sure that his brother is safe and sound and have enough food to eat. Uh. So being a leader like yourself, uh, Han Yet, you not only want to take care of your well-being, your future, but you also have a thoughts of your brothers and your loved one. Uh, that is more important. That means you never feel to think of helping your family member. And it was a successful thing uh, that you went back and make sure not only this incident, uh, Hanye, I believe there are a lot of uh, situations and events that you really take care of your younger brothers. And I strongly believe, uh, sir, when your younger brother become an adult and he has his own family, his own children, he will relate all these successful story that he will thanks the purple, you are you, right? You are the big one. The purple, I am so old. They will say, purple, I am my daddy's old age, how to take care of me, how to take care of me, when I was this, this, this. So he become a role model to your nephew and nieces. You see? Oh, Uncle Raymond, you think so far. My purpose here is not for your sad one. My purpose here is for your future. So that you can see that, oh, my future is so long. So many things. Then you have the motivation, inspiration, and aspirations. And the, the stamina to move on to a marathon race till the day you say bye-bye to this world. And it's very true for what Hanya has been reading. Huh? It gives the opportunity sometimes. Don't, don't get too high expectations. Huh? Okay, but it's good to have expect expectations. Okay, so we're done for this. So next, I'd like to go through the passage now. Uh, I'm not sure whether you've finished your homework, but I need to go through this, okay? We are supposed to create a poster, which I thanks uh, how, how run. You create a very nice poster, even though it's handwritten. I'm yet to show to the class, okay? I, I think I, I, I told you last week before. So yes. next, uh, next, this is the pictures here, okay? I'm so sorry. Uh, if you have not done the homework, I need to go through this with you because next lesson, I'm going to do summary skills. I'm going to cover all this. Uh. There's a reason for that, guys. So, wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, Zhiting, one more time, you tell me this. I'm going to shut down your, your camera. Huh? Don't worry. No, and... I told you that last week. No, no, no. It's okay. I told you it is. Don't stress yourself. But in order to, to uh, get this done and over with it. Uh. Can I have all of you to participate now, okay? Including April. Every one of you, okay, Ken? Ken, uh, okay, let's go. Let's do question one. Uh, you can type in your answer in the Zoom chat. Who do you think the target audience of the poster will be? So please, the nine of you, you might type your Zoom chat answer now. Okay, so this is considered as a homework, huh, guys? If you don't want to type your answer, it's fine with me. Okay, if I call your name, I say, please, Juni, you don't put children, uh, bro. You don't just put children, Juni. You must be more specific. Get me now. If you are the children, would you want to do this one? I, I wouldn't want my, my son to go to do this one. You get me now, Juni. So imagine if people who want to like to go to see air show, doesn't mean everyone like to see the air show. It doesn't mean everyone like to see the F1, right? So you must be very specific, uh, please. I like the first answer given by Juni. Children, you are right. Only half marks. 
You see the answer put there. Do not accept general public children or children with toys. Yes, well done, Zijing. So once you're done with question one, I move on to question two, okay? So Han Yan, you realize that those words you cannot see right here. Like it's okay. I know it's it's not correct, but by right it's supposed to be very clear. So don't worry about that. All right. Number two, how does the pictures illustrate the message to a little kid? Your toy can make a big difference. Remember, I told you this uh this visual graphic text is got to do with Prata. What is the purpose of this uh, Prata? If you look at my Zoom chat, what is the purpose of this poster? As you know, the four corner, toy swap, okay? And you see, is it reliable? Uh, let me tell you, uh, Parkway Parade, right? Remember last week we talked about whatever the MOE give you the visual graphic text is 100% reliable. It's 100% correct, okay? So which are the target audience, you see? The T stands for where is the tagline? Is it this one is a tagline or this one is a tagline or this one is a tagline or here are all the tagline, okay? Anyone? I will go, I will review the answer later on now. So if, if, if you can, you can, yeah. Thank you. Your answer is correct, Zi Jin. So you mean for both? Yes. So question three. Please continue. Uh, please be fast a bit faster uh, because last week we already went through. So today is supposed, those of you who are handing a homework, thank you very much. You can, you can go through the homework and check with my answer. Later I will show it to you. But if you did not do this, so take this opportunity and start doing it. Uh, the question she is, I cannot do that on the paper so bloody. Refer to the information below. The heading is toy swap booth. Why would the information appear to the readers? Oh, is there? Yeah. Bring a smile to a less privileged child by, do by donating your beloved toys to the Salvation Army. The first 300 shoppers who donate each day will stand a chance to win the shopping vouchers in exciting jobs and win game. All toys are welcome okay, <laughs> except staff of used toys, something like that. I can't see the word really, so sorry. Question number four. I'm just so sorry, and uh Singy. Juni and the rest of you, Han, Hao Ran, Li Chen, uh, Le Tong, uh, Jaden, because this is Zoom, uh, it's a bit tough for you to do this comprehension like that, but do your best, okay? Uh, usually face-to-face, -face, it'll be easier, okay? In in a in a face-to-face -face classroom, then I can go through, I can walk around, I can share with you, I can show you. But Zoom, there's a limitation, that's the online, but doesn't mean there's a limitation, we cannot do it. Uh. We still have to do it uh, for the sake of the exam. Your exam, not my exam. Okay? Write down a sentence which shows that Parkway Parade carries out promotional activities which are environmentally friendly. Okay. Yes, you are correct, Jaden. Yes, Junior, you are correct. What is two? April, what is two? For question two. 
Huh? What mean of question two? Sorry, April, I don't get you. Like um, the one I sent you and I replied with the two means like this oh, answer. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you, thank you. I thought you want to give me two candies. Thank you. So nice of you. Uh, half marks, uh, nothing wrong. Because it's a smiling face, it's not wrong. I won't say it's wrong, but yeah, it's happy in terms of what? You get me now? So for example, uh, Hanye, you, you bought an ice cream for your brother, right? Your brother ate the ice cream, he's happy, right? Huh? You're happy with the ice cream, uh, uh, my boy. But why do you think he's happy? Happy because uh, he was being crazy for ice cream and happened that you bought the ice cream for him on that, you know, isn't it? Or because he liked the flavor that you bought, like vanilla, for example. Ming Pai Ma Han Ye. Okay? <clears throat> Question number four. Done with it. No, I will not agree with the answer. We will be switching off, not that one. Wait, let me see. I check. Yeah. Not acceptable. Sorry, Juni. Yes, that one I can accept. You can Yeah, no, why, why? Yes, correct. Half mark. Literally. Uh, Zijing, half mark. What the hell? Why? What's wrong? Why no, is no, me? Why is me? What the hell? Yeah, two I got answers anyway. Why you scold me? What the hell? It's not me. Why you give the answer? Why you scold me? What the hell? Okay, question number five. Because we got to go through all these by today, huh? So I hope, wow, you see so many questions. Shall we? Oh, question I'm number so five. Yeah. Never mind, never mind. You just write on a piece of paper first, then later you want, you can take a picture and send to me. Okay? From paragraph one, write down two phrases which suggest that Johnson was feeling tense. Write down two phrases from paragraph five, uh, paragraph one, why Johnson was feeling tense. Paragraph one, right? Uh, paragraph one, two, two phrases. Yes? Can a phrase be like a one word? No, uh, no way. Okay. No. Thank you. How is that possible? One word is a word. Yeah, one word is a word. No? But phrase is more than one word. But yes. some, yeah, sometimes phrase can be, uh, if you say phrase, it's definitely two words and above, la, but maybe uh, two to seven words. But if a sentence will be, to me, will be one, uh, the, one. A sentence can be one word to 15 words. Okay, can we? Done with it? No. Can't see you. Uh, Hanya, you got one mark for out of two marks. Hey, hey, you where? Don't tell me. Na chewing gum, give me ha. Thank you, thank you. Bye, Hanya. Ah, na chewing gum. Ah, ah, thank you, thank you. Ah, give me, give me. Yeah, ah, you eat. One mark for you, Xingyu. One more for you, Jaden. So how come nobody got it correct? Huh? It's so so that it's so straightforward, it's there. It's there. Look carefully. Well done, Zijing. You got full marks. You got full marks. The question is: from paragraph one, write down two phrases which suggest that Johnson was feeling tense. Hey. Why? Why are you leaving the meeting? Bye. I can't, no, because I can't see your screen. Oh, you can't see the screen or you can't see my face. Never mind. <laughs> okay, relock it again. Okay, it's okay, dear. No problem. Uh... Well done, Le Tong. You got full marks. That's the answer. Exactly the same. Damn it. Well done. So that's proof to other people's wrong that we can't do comprehension on Zoom. Huh? 
So there was a, some success story to talk about Zoom using uh, using Zoom to do comprehensions. Huh? It's a bit tough, lah, guys. I know. Because some of them print out the, 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 the questions, paper or the lesson plans. Some don't have printer, then you have to use a handphone, whatever it is. Okay. So I got to move on to the next questions. Huh? Next one. Question number six. From paragraph one and two, explain. Yeah, Juni, you are right. Uh, where am I? <coughs> Excuse me. From paragraph one and two, explain your own words. Uh, own words are uh, what makes Johnson feel uneasy when he entered the bond. In your own words, why you feel uneasy? Uh? Paragraph one and two, ah. Uh. Well done, Han Ye. Uh, out of this, you've only got one mark. Hey, it's not bad already, yeah. Uh, not bad already, uh, please. Okay, not bad, uh, Han Ye. Not bad. Oh, you you, you print too light, uh, Han Ye. Uh, good, good. So you see, um, uh, there's an advantage if you can print it out, uh. Well done, Singy. Full marks for you. Well done. Good. Good job. Singy. Singy, good job. Yes, well done, Sujing. Well done. Hey, set one's comprehension is pretty easy, yeah. Looking at the passage and answer. When you come to set two, set three, it's not that easy already, yeah. Especially if you're IP student, uh, Haran. Good luck to you, uh. The passage will be not so straightforward, huh? For goodness sake. Well done, Juni. You got full marks. This is also to test your time management, your discipline, and your creativity. Yeah, I got full marks. Yes, yes, yes. Jaden, uh, Li Chen, uh, I'm not forcing you that you must come out. Huh? I'm just calling your name. Do you have any answer? If not, you just say pass. Don't say, I don't know. Huh? I don't want to hear, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I think there's something, like, like yesterday, I was teaching my set three comprehension, something, I think there's something. No, don't tell me something, anything, nothing, or everything. Huh? I kill you. Huh? Don't use this in your comprehension passage. You must be more specific. Okay? So, uh, April, are you able to see the screen now? April, yeah. thank you. Are you still in Singapore? No, I left yesterday. Oh, I see. In paragraph six, why was Johnson unable to escape from the barn through the window? Uh oh. Why uh, why he cannot escape? Uh? Let's go to paragraph six, uh. Why cannot escape? Wei Shama Tapu Kai escape. Wei Shama. Awesome, man, bro. Anye, high five, man. Well done. You are damn crazy nuts, sir. Well done. I like that. <laughs> uh, where's your chewing gum? Well done, Singy. Well done, Le Tong. Uh, half marks for you, uh, Zi Jing. Thank you, Jaden. Thank you, Juni. Well done, all of you. Well done. How run? Don't stress, uh, how run, please. Don't stress. Later, Uncle Rima will show you the answer, okay? Don't stress, please. I look at your face like you look very stressed like that. Relax, uh, bro. <laughs> Hi, uh, Li Chen. Why you give me this kind of answer? Huh? Li Chen, look at me. Can you smile at me, please? Smile. Smile. We are done. You got full marks, man, bro. Absolutely right, man. That's the way. Hey, this, Jayden, that's the way I'm going to disturb you. <laughs> uh, uh, Jayden, this is the way I bully him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jayden, uh, Li Chen, today you like, not right, huh? You okay now? Oh, I just woke up and then I didn't eat my breakfast. Then I told you to get something to eat, well, damn it. Uh, I have nothing to eat though. Huh? Me or Tia? Um, my parents are still sleeping. Oh, then go and get some biscuit, lah. Yeah, I do, but um, it doesn't fill my stomach. Understand? You're in Oh, I thought you were talking with your friends, so you're 
。哎呀，你朋友而已吗？不用紧的。Okay, from paragraph seven, write down an expression why whereby the writer give human qualities to the objects. Ah, qualities to the object that means is personification. Oh my God, let's look at seven, paragraph seven. What do you say? Oh my goodness! Ooh, give the 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 objects a human's feeling. Awesome, man, Singy. Awesome, man, Jaden. <laughs> Can you imagine Jaden? They do that. I want freedom. Don't hit my head. <laughs> I want freedom. Can you imagine? <laughs> that 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 the hammer say shut up. It's my job to hit you. <laughs> Don't do that again. Don't do that again. Protest, ma. <laughs> oh, no, the thing, the author is a human. He's making an object that's not human. The nail squeeze. That's right. Yes, Le Tong. Well done. Well done, everyone. Well done. Let's move on. Huh? I got a lot of things to share. Huh? I got 30 over pages to share. Huh? So sorry. Huh? I don't need to move. Up. Tap, tap, tap. Explain what you think in the tapping sound was. 921. Let's go, man. Well, this one is the easiest. Huh? Please. Oh, my goodness. And hey, this is a giveaway mark. Huh? Come on. Jaden, sing it. Come on. April, come on, Le Tong, come on, Zixing, Han Ye, Jaden, Yi Chen, Hao Ran. Okay, uh, Jun is saying spider. If all of you agree spider, please let, let me know. All agree? It's a spider? Noah, Jaden. Noah. So is Jaden the spider? Sure, I think that's the Hey, don't, don't, don't torture yourself, don't hit yourself, uh, Jaden, please, please. Hey, let's do it one more time to Jaden. Hey, Jaden, the spider. Hey, hit yourself. <laughs> the spider cross tapping on the wooden floor while walking towards Johnson. You are absolutely right. It's not the spider. There means a spider like that, no? Look, look. The spider is supposed to tap, right? Because you're walking. So when you say spider like that, you know? Yeah. Boom, boom. <laughs> It's the crow that tapping, right? Sing it correct, no? It's not the whole body, like boom. Wow, can you imagine Jaden the spider? Boom. Oh, goodness. Uh, those of you who say spider is correct, but it must be specific. The sound of the spider's leggy. Yes, thank you, Jaden. Number nine. I'm uh, sorry, number 10. From paragraph nine, what injury did Johnson suffer when he was first attacked by the spidey? Number nine. Let's go to number nine, right? And see, let's see number nine, paragraph number nine. All right. Well, this one is very easy. This is a very straightforward answer. Lah. Come on. Yes, Juni, I got you. I got your answer. Thank you. You all must be fast, huh? Okay. So this will test your speed, huh? If you can do and give me the answer fast, that will be good, huh? But if it's not, don't stress. Uh, don't stress, please. Don't stress. This is not for competition. Do or die. Must. You cannot make it. It's not the squid game. Uh. Yes, I agree with you, Singing. You got full marks for that. Yes, I agree with you, Li Chen. Well done, man. Yes, agree, Juni. Well done. Le Tong, your answer? So far, you're giving all the answer full marks, huh? Yes, absolutely full marks, Le Tong. Yes, half marks for you, Zi Jing. Okay, let's move on to the next questions, huh? From paragraph 10, provides evidence to show that the spider was not an ordinary one. Oh. My question here was correct or wrong? Uh, one mark. Uh, half marks. One. Half marks out of one mark. Thank you. No problem. Okay. 
From paragraph 10, provides evidence to show that the spider was not an ordinary one. This is a very straightforward answer, man. Come on. Okay, can you mute your mic, Zuting? Thank you. Yes, Hanye, correct. Full marks. You're going to fly, man, Hanye. You're going to fly for this coming exam. Well done. Good. Little also, huh? you're yeah, improving. Little, well done. Yes, Zitin. Finally, you got it right. Full marks. Short, sweet, and good. Well done, Zitin. I don't know what happened, Jaden, recently. Huh? Like, like, not in the mood to do things. You know, you move here, move here. Hey, you forget to mute your mic. Jaden is listening. No, la, I just mute his ear. He can't hear me. See, you did, not, you did not respond to my question. See, I mute his ear. You see, you look on the left and look on the right. You don't yeah, even... Jason is too lazy to respond to you now. Oh, how, how, right? Uh, no, la, he cannot hear me. I mute his, his mic. I mute his oh, ear. Oh, he's here. Yeah, yeah, I mute his ear. Right, Jaden. Right. I really can't hear the last part you're talking. I'm so sorry. Really, how, how, right? Seriously. Your, your mic is really quite bad. I only hear the first part about Jaden something like that. Okay, question number 12. Explain how Johnson reassured himself after the first attack by the Spidey. We're going to end the question soon. Explain how Johnson reassured himself at the first attack by the Spidey. Raymond, attacking spider to you. I, I tell you, uh, you just what I hear that you hear Uncle Raymond, this is what I would tell you. That is happening that you are talking to me like that. So I can't really help listen to what you say. That is your mic is so bad. I really cannot understand what you're saying a single word to, uh, to me. Okay, thank you. Haran, yes. Wow, this answer number 12 is a bit difficult. Huh? I will give you half marks for that, uh, Hanye. Or oh, I karate chop you. Okay, <laughs> okay you chop me. Uh. I, okay, okay, you chop me. Uh. Bing, no, chop. Uh, uh, I'm going to say, uh, um, okay, la, okay, la. I think all of you can get one mark for this answer. Okay, okay. Uh, Hanye. Okay, never mind. You can lie on the bed first for a while. It's okay. Lie down, lie down. It's okay. It's okay. Number 12 is not like... Number 12 is Johnson told, told himself that he need a weapon. He need yeah. to move slowly to take the rotten board to prevent himself from getting attacked. No. He's asking you um, why... Eh? We are doing number 12. Okay. Why explain why Johnson reassured himself after the first attack by the, the spider that he was not an ordinary spider? Oh. Okay, a, a spider usually do this, but he's not an ordinary spider. That is what he meant. Yeah. Right, Hanye, huh? yeah, yeah, no need to get out, just show me the thumbs. Okay, just shut up and lie down. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so number 12, number 13, in your own words. Explain why Johnson did not run from the Spidey. What? Spidey? Spidey, Spidey, Spidey. Oh. The teacher just said Spidey. Yeah, Spidey. Hello, I'm a cute Spidey. I'm a Barbie Spidey. I'm a Barbie dog in a Barbie world. I'm a Spidey baby. Jaden, what's your problem? Jaden is the Jaden baby. Yeah. Oh, can you imagine Jaden, your Barbie dog? <laughs> Or in the Barbie world. Whoa, man. Hey, those Barbie boy inside the Barbie world all got six pack one. Oh, Jaden got one big fat pet. That's all. <laughs> okay, just a joke. All right. Number 13. Can I have an answer for number 13, please? And then if we are done with number 13, can we move on to number 14, please? What do you think? Oh, sorry, what do the following phrases suggest about the spider movement? 
like a sprinter, like a what? Ballerina. Oh my goodness. A spider does like a ballerina. Oh my goodness, seriously. Kidding me not. I like the last part you use the word move over, Hanye. Awesome. That is the kind of conjunction word you need to use. Can I use can I say that uh, Hanye? The move over is like a magic word. Thank you. Yes, well done, man. Jaden. <laughs> Jaden, Jaden. <laughs> the way you use the word, the, the, the one, uh, the G one, <laughs> Valina, the spider do this. <laughs> then he quite attack. You know, Valina, he turn around right like that. Not like that. Doing this, like, dun, 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 dun. I'm going to eat you, Johnson. <laughs> Johnson, Jaden, can you imagine Johnson was saying, you seriously? You keep me now, you're dancing like a ballerina and saying, still you want to eat me? Yes, I'm a female spider. Correct or not? True or not, Jaden? Because behind got a lot of babies, correct or not? So he behaved like a ballerina, not wrong. Huh? Can you imagine he's a father spider and behave like a ballerina? Can you imagine all the children? Daddy, seriously? <laughs> you're dancing like a ballerina? But sure, got got like uh got male people dance belly one, okay. Um uh, I'm so sorry, uh uh Han Ye. I, I like I say uh, one more time, uh, I respect everyone who is doing the things, uh, I respect, but that doesn't mean I like uh, agree now. Okay, I like auntie uncle to do line dance, I respect them, but I don't like to do line dance, okay? Just like pole dance, okay, just like LGBT, I respect them. Doesn't mean I must support them, okay? So it's nothing wrong for guys doing ballerina dance. I respect because they have the courage and the bravery to wear the, the toot toot, uh, okay, the ballerina toast thing, and then wow, so tight until the 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 the, the legs and the 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 the, the ass so tight that I cannot take it. Uh. So thanks for your sharing, but I cannot take it. Seriously. Can you imagine a guy wearing like that and dance? Oh my goodness, I cannot take it, sorry. Okay, yes, I agree. Uh, Li Chan. Okay, next, I move on to question number 15 because of time constraints. If brush his arm aside as if it was a piece of lint, what does the writer mean by this sentence and what does the sentence suggest about this by D? Let's go to look at next page. Okay, look at, look at the question already. One, two, three, move up. Until I have the technology to split the screen for one question and this one. If not, I'm so sorry you got to look at this one. Yes, Singh, very fast. I don't show sure which question are you referring to, so you must be more specific. But if you are talking about the splinter, yes, it's very fast. You are absolutely correct. April, I leave it to you, Hawk. Huh? You can just look at the answer and see because uh, you just finished your exam, relax. Okay, don't don't stress yourself, April. <clears throat> uh, I would say half marks for that, uh, Hanye. Uh, for 15, number two, yes, the full marks. Okay. Well, huh? the first one, not really fully answer to the questions, but I know what you meant. Okay. Well, I still got a few more. Uh, for a more brief moment, he and the creatures look into each other's eyes. It was almost like loved. Why is it ironic? Ironic means the opposite uh, meanings for the writer to describe Johnson and the spider in this way. I would seriously like all of you to take part in this question number 16. All right. Seriously, I'll go to line 64 to 65. Yeah, I know it's dramatic irony, but why, uh, Jaden? Why? Look into your eyes, I can see. 
Uh, so why do you think supposed to be a lover, but it's ironic? You know? So the spider is looking at Johnson. Johnson is looking at the spider. But they are, they are definitely not falling in love, right? That's ironic. That's the opposite. But why? Why? No, the last part, I disagree with you, Han Ye. The first part, I agree with you. He definitely did not feel love. Okay, you mean uh, Han Ye, come on, baby, eat me. Come on, baby, come and eat me. No, ah. Uh. So the last part, I cannot accept it. I'm so sorry. Yes, Sing Yi, you are right. Full marks. Yes, Zi Jing, you full marks. Okay. Well, I like the idea love at first sight has been actually staring into deep eyes of one another, of one another. But because Johnson is going to be the prey on the on the table for the spidey, so this love at first sight is going to become the what? The food at first sight. Prima to the spidey. No, 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 serious, don't you? This is I, I think you're using the teacher to talk about, which I totally agree what you meant. Okay, I agree. But this love is first sight turned out to become food. Just like Jaden. Okay, like this and like that. Now he's so damn hungry. So the first thing now, if I put the burger, the, the Big Mac, McDonald's, uh, I have a uh, big breakfast in front of Li Chen. Li Chen will be love at first sight looking at the, the big breakfast. Correct now, Jaden. And then the big breakfast will look at Jade, uh, Li Chen love at first sight. Uh, are you going to eat me? Or you just love to see me? Of course, Li Chen, no way, man. I'm going to love and see you. I'm going to eat you up. Get it up. So it's ironic. So Li Chen, when looking at the big breakfast, is love at first sight. It's like, look at the food. Oh my God, I'm going to have an enjoyable breakfast. Li Chen, we're going to end at 11.30, so bear with me. Huh? Oh, you look at Han Ye, the, the eyes so big. Hi! Wait, Uncle Raymond, end at 11.30? Yeah, why? You got a problem? Yeah, I think I'm going out later. Uh, too bad. Lah. That's your problem, not my problem. <laughs> soon, uh, soon, I'm uh, just pulling this and leg. Uh, I just I don't want to disturb him for no food for him. From paragraph 18, write down two phrases which suggest that the spider was a dangerous creature. The spider was a dangerous creature. Nyak, 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 nyak. Bye, to think, brother. He was behind you. And now he's behind you. He's running left, he's running right. He's not in the big car. Here. Huh? Are Sorry. you guys like to my room? Okay. Welcome. So they need to do something to run around the house. <laughs> no, I think for safety, you have not feel your brother, but you have be a successful uh, sister. To ensure the safety of your brother. Thank you, Hanya. Your answer is full marks. Your answer is full marks, Yu. I like the way you, every time when you score, Hanya, you, you raise up your freeze. Uh, which is good. No, seriously, it's good. It's good. You must show your success story, yes. Hello, <laughs> Mayo. Hanya can sing you. How about the rest? Yeah, that's April, April, you can sit there and answer and read through and check. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, hey, uh, April, can you scan your school exam paper for me to take a look? 
when you go for the paper. Oh, the China English paper. For exam paper? Yeah, yeah. So the China English paper, right? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, today I don't know what you're saying. I can't hear you very clearly. But April, would you huh? be kind enough to scan your exam paper for Uncle Raymond to take a look so that I know what is the format? So if I can search some format like this, I can pass it to you for you to practice to prepare for your next exam, okay? But we're not allowed to keep our exams in our school. You, you mean you are not allowed to take back your exam paper home? No, we're not. So can you take your phone and fish out your phone and take a picture of the exam paper? Also not allowed. Oh, well, our school banned our phone um a few weeks ago. Oh, because all of you are taking phones to. <laughs> no, because like um a, a few students were like doing some um inappropriate actions in the toilet and then ah. so the teacher um and and so um we're not allowed phones anymore. Ah uh, yeah, you should ask Uncle Raymond to join in the fun, man. Wait, <laughs> Uncle Raymond. Appropriate wait. action in the toilet. Wait, so like in China, I cannot use phone in class. I can bring. No, no, not in China. Not allowed to use phone in class. The whole entire school. Oh. Right, April. Wait. Yeah. But 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 then her school day, first at first they allowed her. How you call your parents when you end your school? No, there's like you know, there's something called. Wait, 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 wait. Well, April? Uh, you can bring the phone to school, but you're not allowed to use it unless until school ends. So I quietly go to the toilet and use the phone, you also don't know why. Uh... No, yeah. our school our school like banned like all social apps on like that our phones might have on the Wi-Fi. So if you connect to the Wi-Fi, it doesn't work at all. Whoa! <laughs> so that means even you have phone, you can't use TikTok, uh, Instagram, WhatsApp, WeChat, nothing. Nothing. But I can use my phone to go to the toilet and use my camera to take in take some inappropriate pictures, right? Wait, Uncle Raymond. Firstly, let me just clarify this. In school, if you want to call a parent, there's something called going to the general office and then using the office phone. Yeah, la, correct. La, secondly, secondly, Almost every school has like, you know, like if you connect to some kind of Wi-Fi, you cannot play game or something on the phone now. Bro. No, no, no. If I'm a principal of your school, April, CSD, mm -hmm. I will give all the student access to handphone. CSD. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Listen like, to my story. Wait, I will give cool. my student access to handphone, provided every student pass their exam. So when you say pass, it can be 50 upon 100. Huh? That's how you pass. Okay? But if most of the students score higher than that, then there will be a free Wi-Fi airtime. That means during your recess, I will unblock you guys to watch Wi-Fi whatever during, you know, in the recess, like canteen, but definitely only the circumference of that particular area. Like if your um device connects to the school Wi-Fi, our school, the teachers can see what you're doing on it. Oh, no, no, no. That is against privacy. I cannot take it. No, but no, that's no. Our, no, because like, um, they believe like if you're using your device, it means like you're studying, like you can't do anything else. But oh, no, study. I, I'm sorry. That's against to me. Uh, okay, I'm so sorry, uh, April. Because this, your country you're staying is communist country, so they have the rights. But in a appropriate way, I think we should give the freedom of the student. Nothing wrong, huh? which is good that you, you have a discipline, okay, nothing wrong, since we are talking about this. Huh? So if I'm a school, I will still allow my student, you see, huh? even though you restrict the students from using Wi-Fi in school, but people will still you'll use your data, your own handphone data, or get out of the school and do hanky-panky things. All right? Okay, the teachers can monitor in what, whatever way, but uh, as coming from a school point of view, as a disciplined teacher before, as in the education, I think we should give some kong tian, to, to distress to look at something else. That's my opinion. But that is your school. That is the culture in China. I respect fully, okay? Uh, that is how it works. But to me, even if that, I will use different words. I don't think in the, you are in the international school, right? No. International school. Yeah. Oh, that is a bit, uh, I mean, uh, overbought, but it's the, for the benefit and the safety and the well-being of the student, I respect it. Okay, 
but for the freedom of choice of using it, then there is a gray area to talk about it. Okay, seriously. All right, so it's nothing wrong, but I still want my student to come to school to enjoy the lesson in different ways. The student can come and talk to me and discuss about it. Because sometimes you never know. Because stopping totally Wi-Fi, I feel that is certain things that is not correct. Okay, that is for me to say. Right, so I'm not against it. But thanks for sharing, April. So I think it's good to have some place for them to, to, um, to have a place for them to have something to, to look at it and, and be stressed. And then after the thing lesson end, the Wi-Fi will cut off and then back to normal lessons. But since this is how it works, just like in school, right, Hanye, in school they say cannot sell uh, fried food, right? Uh, all these things, right? You know, got no French fry, got no Western food, uh, healthy food. Uh. But, yeah, at the end, food yeah, right. but at the end of the day, I still see students order McDonald's to the school. But then, Joe, my school got the got <laughs> na chicken nugget. Uh, brown got got right. also got Western store one. All right, but because they say eat healthy, this these are called junk food, right? True now, Jaden. They're not my supposed to. School, my primary school got selfish and shit. You know? Ah, then the the school the MOE say must eat healthy food. Cannot have all these things. So very funny. And then when I was in secondary school, my student in the uh um uh, design and technology sometimes stay back very late. They order McDonald's. Say, huh? Because my school banned for fried food. Uh. But they order McDonald's. Is huh? I'll say to my school and teacher didn't even care, yeah. Come on, uh, please. I'd rather you guys to eat this kind of junk food, any food, rather than don't eat anything. Uh. Prima Li Chen, you agree now? Uncle Raymond. Come on, you are still a teenager. Like, unless you sell, tell me these teenagers got health problem, cannot eat this thing there, I understand. You are growing up, no? I'm not asking you Chen, to order a tiger beer, a casper, a whiskey, or alcohol, and drink right. Or secret, then it's wrong. But you you can stop children from not eating fried food in school, but you cannot stop them from not eating fried food outside. It's the parents' duty to control. But they say school, at least I do in my school, I do my part. Hey, please, nonsense. Uh. If you're not have, helping the student to eat proper food, good food, uh, how they study, man. Agree not, Jaden? Then myself, all the school eat vegetable, uh, that like the vegan teacher like that. Uh. Damn it, man. Sorry, huh? Hanye, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but uh, because of time constraints, it's 11.03. Let me finish all the questions first. Next week, I'll show you the answer, okay? So question number 19. Huh? Shimmering like a green overcoat, there was something on the spider back. It moved and undulated like a small wave flowing back and forth. What do the following words of phrase suggest about the young spider? Come. Let's go. No, no, you will not end 11.30. You will end in about a few more minutes time. Serious, serious. Give me a few more minutes, huh, guys. I know y'all have to go out. Me too. I'm going to church also. Any answer? No, let's look at number 19. Now, children, Singy and Juni. I told you, right? All these words here by paragraph one to seven, do you think it's the amazing spider or is it poisoning take effect or exploring a new environment? I feel that this will be more appropriate realizing there was no escape. I find that this too is very close to paragraph one to seven. Okay, first encounter with the spider, possible maybe here. Trap in the bun, maybe here. Facing another attack, uh, facing another attack confirm will not be these two. Why? Because you see, uh, Singy and Juni, please pay attention. I'm very, very serious. Please pay attention. You see, now you understand the first sentence of each paragraph uh, will really give you the hints away. So for goodness sake, you're saying it, Juni, for now on, when you're looking at the comprehension passage, for goodness sake, all right, look at it and you realize this one confirm is not the first attack we did. Agree now, Sing and Juni. Juni. Juni and Sing Yi. Agree? Sing Yi. Right? So now you understand now, uh, and this is not only for your comprehension of Sing and Juni. Okay? And Hanye, this first sentence of each paragraph will last you all the way to your university or even in real world, okay? Because the first sentence is a key topic sentence. So obviously, the paragraph 1 to 7 cannot be facing another attack with it. Because it's talking about how spelly, how dirty, remember? From question number 5 to number 9, okay, or number 10. 
Oh, sorry, from question number number five to number nine. Okay, all right. These are already give you the hints that it's definitely not the first attack already. So this first attack is out already. Okay, so it's either this one trapped in the bun. First encounter is also wrong because you haven't seen the spider yet. Realizing there was no escape, uh, exploring, it should be either this or this. Okay, I don't know whether you agree or not. It's either trapped in the bun or exploring. It cannot be poisoning the effect already. No, this one is definitely somewhere in the bottom. By looking on top. And the amazing spider, you haven't seen the spider, so it's only left to answer. Okay? I think the answer is given there already, right? Ah, huh? Anya? Do you print the answer? Yeah, but then you see how the answer, like... No, no. Did you look at the answer before you do the question? No? I can't no. even see the answer. Oh, but now I see the answer already, huh? Sure. Yeah. I, I print the new one, I print the new one. Okay, next time when you don't see the answer, don't waste paper, huh? That means I don't want to show you the answer. Wait for my answer, then you print, okay? Oh. Yeah, so, all right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Write it down, it's don't bring the answer because the next lesson I will give you the answer. So next week I may be giving you a summary passage, right? Okay. Oh, okay. At the stop now, please pay attention. Super important, ready? Super important. Please pay attention. Please pay attention. Okay. Look at the screen here, please. Everyone, please the eye grew on the screen now. On the 4th, 5th, and 6th of September is a one-week school holidays. Mm -hmm. I urge all of you to come to the Glassroot Cup near Yochuka MRT station. Hang Ye, uh, Hao Ran, and Jaden I came to this uh, place before in June, right? To do your paper one full examination. And the three of you have passed your paper one already. Now it's paper two. There's three days for you to select. Unless you tell me, Uncle Raymond, I'm going for holiday. My advice is I won't stop you to go for holiday. Uh. If you need to visit your grandparents, your relative, go ahead. I don't stop you. But you know, after this September holiday, it's your real full exam paper. Holiday. So I'm giving the, 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 the goodwill and the under JLC for you to attend my one hour and 50 minutes exam. After the exam, Xingyi, Juni. Okay, April, if you, sorry, you cannot come. So sorry. Those of you who are coming for this exam, after the exam, Jaden, what will you have after the exam? free lunch after exam what you have like Jaden food yes food okay with gelato ice cream yes singy oh. right now it's a full meal all right true now Jaden you got ice cream you got waffle you got spaghetti right right it's in the cafe all right so I'm gonna take a picture again one more time to show you please discuss with your parents it's a face-to-face -face exam a full exam paper once yeah. You finish your exam. Let me talk first. Huh? After you finish your exam, you will have a meal free provided by Uncle Raymond. You enjoy the meal there. You want to have Wi-Fi. Everything is free. You can enjoy there. And then you have uh, um, what do you call bonding with your classmates. Okay. And then you discuss some homework. And then if you've got anything to ask me about exam, please do so. Okay. This is for me. Every year I do that with JLC students especially my set four students, they come a few times to discuss a homework, all right? So choose the day, discuss with your parents, and this is the format, all right? I will send this picture, I uh, screenshot and send it to the group, and then you discuss with your mommy, daddy, okay? So I don't want to take too much of your time. Thank you so much. I am uh, not...